hey what's going on guys let's do this problem right here this question is asking a 2.2 millimeter diameter and 10 meter long electric wire is tightly wrapped with a 1 millimeter thick plastic cover whose thermal conductivity is k is equal to 0.15 watts per meter kelvin electrical measurements indicate that the current of 13 ampere passes through the wire and there's a voltage drop of 8 volts along the wire if the insulated wire is exposed to a medium at T infinity, this surrounding temperature equal to 30 degrees Celsius with a heat transfer coefficient of H is equal to 24 watts per meter square Kelvin. Determine the temperature at the interface of the wire. So interface of the wire and the plastic cover in steady operation. Also determine if doubling the thickness of the plastic cover will increase or decrease the interface temperature. Let's see how we can do it. So to find this one, uh, first we have to find the interface of the plastic and wire and plastic cover. Temperature at the interface of the wire and plastic cover. So let's draw a sample diagram. It's same diagram of this one. So this is going to be... So let's say we have this wire right here. So inside part is given by 2.2 millimeter. So inside diameter is 2.2 millimeter. And we have a plastic cover that is 1 millimeter thick. So 1 millimeter thick plastic cover. So this 1 millimeter on top. And in the bottom also we are going to have one millimeter thick right so the total outer diameter is going to be one plus one two two plus two point two that's going to be four point two so we have four point two millimeter total outside diameter and let's see how we can find the temperature of the interface using this information so temperature of interface interface is basically this one because they are saying interface of the wire and plastic cover so wire and plastic cover this is inside is wire and plastic cover is this one and the surface that touches is this part this is the part we are interested in right temperature at this part and surface surrounding temperature is provided this is outside temperature that is 30 degrees Celsius now let's go ahead and find this one to find this one, we are going to use this equation. Q dot is equal to T. So let's say the, yeah, T minus T infinity. This is surrounding temperature over R total. Right. Now we have this information already. That is 30 degrees Celsius. This is the question, right? This is our main question. And R total and Q dot we have to find. And if you notice, they have provided 13 ampere and 8 voltage. And if you remember from electricity or physics course, the power we can calculate using VI. And Q dot is same as power. You can analyze with units, you will get units per second, right? Power is also units per second. This is watts and this is also watts. Power is equal to Q dot. If you calculate this one, that's going to be the heat transfer rate. And V i is going to be V is 8 volts times i that is current 13 ampere. 13 ampere, if you multiply them together, that's going to give you 104 watts, right? So this is our Q dot. Now we can say this is equal to Q dot. Now we have this information. Now we have to find R total in order to calculate T. Now let's go ahead and find the R total but before we do that let's draw a resistance diagram. We are starting from here because we are only interested in from here to outside right. So let's start from here. So the after the interface we have R this one R plastic plastic and then R outside. So these are the two resistance we have to calculate in order to apply this equation. 
Now let's go ahead and calculate R plastic first. That's going to be a conduction, right? Because we don't have any motion. So that's going to be conduction. R plastic is going to be conduct conduction. And whenever we have conduction in cylindrical shape, we use this equation that is long d2 over d1 or, or you can use the radius or diameter both of them are going to give you the same results because the ratio is going to be same for radian i mean radius and diameter and in the denominator we are going to have 2 phi kl k is thermal conductivity of this plastic and l is going to be the length of the wire now let's go ahead and plug the values long outside diameter is 4.2 millimeter inside diameter is going to be the where, where the plastic cover starts that's 2.2 millimeter right so 2.2 millimeter over 2 phi thermal conductivity of this wire is provided that's 0 0.15 so this is going to be 0 0.15 watts per meter kelvin times length that is 10 meter right now we have all the information and if you calculate this one you will get 0 0.0686 degrees celsius watts per degrees celsius per watts and now we have to calculate the convection outside we have air, mo air motion so we, it's going to be a convection so we are going to calculate R outside that's going to be a convection equation so this is going to be 1 over H outside and uh, area of the surface outside H outside is going to be heat transfer coefficient outside that's provided right here 24 watts per meter square Kelvin so this is going to be 24 let's put 24 and area is going to be surface area for a cylindrical shape surface area is given by 2 phi RH or you can use phi dh here h height is going to be the length so we can use phi dl so let's go ahead and use this one phi d is going to be the diameter outer diameter that is 4.2 millimeter to convert millimeter into meter we have to multiply this by 10 to the power minus 3 right and then we have length that is 10 meter and if you calculate this one that's going to give you 0 0.3158 degrees celsius per watts now we have plastic R plastic and R outside and this is in series so whenever we have resistance in series we can directly add them so the R total is going to be just the addition of these two R plastic plus R outside and if you add them together that's going to give you 0 0.3844 degrees celsius per watts right now we have the resist total resistance we have these three information now we can rearrange this equation to find this interface temperature that's the first question right so to find this let's go ahead and rearrange this one this is going to be t is equal to q dot if you flip this around this is going to be q dot r total and if you move this one to the other side that's going to be plus t infinity right q dot r total q dot we found out already that is 104 watts 104 times r total we calculated that is 0 0.3844 degrees celsius per watts plus t infinity that is surface I mean surrounding temperature that is 30 degrees Celsius and if you calculate and add them together that's going to give you 70 degrees Celsius now we have done the first part now to calculate the second part second part is asking also determine if doubling the thickness of the plastic cover will increase or decrease the this interface temperature now let's say so we are doubling the outside diameter so it means previously we had one millimeter outside diameter right now we are adding one more to the 
So doubling mean is become one millimeter becoming two millimeter. So doubling mean we are adding extra one more layer. Right. So this is the total diameter is now is going to become we have another one millimeter, right? One millimeter, one millimeter, and that's gonna two plus two four six point two. So we are going to have six point two millimeter outer diameter. So diameter is going to change. Now we are going to have new heat loss rate, like heat transfer. To calculate this one, you can use this temperature and calculate the new heat transfer rate. And then you will get Q dot. You can use this equation that's Q dot is equal to um, T minus T infinity over R total. To calculate R total you have to calculate it and add them together and you have to calculate R plastic plastic and R outside. Everything is going to change because the new diameter is going to outside is going to change. So that's changed all the answers, right? You can go and do in this way and find the new heat loss rate and then you can find the new temperature. Also, you can, there's a shortcut for this. So whenever we have a question like this, we find the art critical. That is a radians, a radius critical, critical radius. And let's use small r because we, have, we are using resistance and don't get confused with this. So here we have a critical radius. To calculate the critical radius, what we do, k over h. That is thermal conductivity of this wire. That is 0 0.15. I mean, of the plastic. That is 0 0.15 over h. That is heat transfer coefficient. That is 24, right? And if you calculate this one, that's going to give you 0 0.00625 millimeter. That is same. I mean, meter. This is meter, this is same as 6.25 millimeter. And if you notice, this is radius, right? And if you calculate the diameter, it's going to be double of this one. That is uh, 13, 12.5, 12.5 millimeter. And if you notice the diameter here, the outside diameter is 6.2. This is 12.5. And if you get the, the outer diameter less than this and if you increase this new diameter I mean the plastic cover that means the heat loss rate is going to be increasing therefore temperature is going to be decreasing so you can conclude that plastic cover it will decrease here they are asking for the interface temperature that will decrease if this value is less than that but if you want to make sure you can go ahead and calculate this value you will get around 125 watts and then if you re-plug this one into this equation and calculate this temperature that's going to be less than this 70 degrees Celsius and that way you can make sure and that is it that's how we do this kind of problems I hope you guys find this video helpful. See you next time.